I was in my childhood backyard with someone I don't remember. My feet were damp from the dew-covered grass. I wanted so badly to know who was next to me, but the more I turned to see them, the less recognizable they became. We were looking at a family of deer at the edge of the woods. There were about six of them in all. They were all different shapes and sizes. One stuck out to me. There was a tiny fawn who looked like it had just learned how to walk. The grass began to whisper, and I saw a small gardener snake approaching them. The closer it got, the bigger it became until it was a giant black serpent. All of the deer quickly scattered into the forest, except the small one. The tiny fawn was frozen in its tracks. I now felt completely alone. The comfort was gone. It was just me, the fawn, and the snake. Without hesitation, the snake attacked. It sprang at the fawn. It coiled itself around the body and began to constrict, like a knot being tightened. The fawn let out scream after scream, but was slowly losing the fight. All I could do was stand and watch. Suddenly, something happened. There was a flash, and the fawn ended up in the branch of a tree. I had no idea what I had just witnessed. The snake, who seemed just as surprised as me, flittered away in defeat. Looking at the fawn, I had never seen a creature so terrified. It had just escaped it had just escaped the snake, the biggest battle of its life, but was now stuck in a tree. I began to walk over. The closer I got, the more afraid the fawn became. I began to walk over. The closer I got, the more afraid the fawn became. Even though I knew, I c even though I knew it couldn't understand me, I told it, everything will be OK. Its legs were shaking the branch like a rubber band back and forth. The fawn was hyperventilating. It was so high up that I couldn't reach it, so it would need to jump into my arms. The fawn was holding on so tightly to the branch. Finally, it let go and fell into my arms. Its whole body was shaking. I held it so close like a newborn baby, hoping it could feel some of the love I was giving it. Its whole body was shaking. I held it so close like a newborn baby, hoping it could feel some of the love I was giving it. Then. A warm, comforting sensation took over my body, and the fawn disappeared, and I woke up with a jump. Falling. Lately, I feel like I am falling, like I am being attacked. The further I fall, the heavier the weight on my back gets. Am I falling to my death? <laughs> Hey, do you know why you are here? There's no building that holds more memories for you than the brown trout. There were friendships made here that are so strong. These memories are some of the best that you have.
Pig, why don't you trust me? I know how you feel. These memories seem like they should be so happy, but they are so hard for you to experience. I know this is confusing. The joy you see from the past causes you pain now. You are so far removed from these moments that they don't make any sense. You're jealous of how free you once were. The more you try to be free, the more restrained you become. Your mind has become such a disaster that you can't see me. Since you can't see me, you are afraid of me. You think I am bad. You think I'm going to hurt you. I was born on the south side of the city In a run-down neighborhood They're filming now on Pitt, huh? You look pretty good to me. My daddy was a poor man He's fucking dope. He's dope. He did the best he could. I guess it's the balls, like, and I was like, hurt. I was like, hurt over, like, like, like it's hurting. I came in and I was like, why is this dude still down? Because cause I went out, I was like, I don't know. Okay, but okay. the funny while part, were, while you were curled over, right? so I went out for like a minute or two. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> One, zero, go! And I help me. Most of us Most of us Oh my god! Let's do that. Peyton, why don't you trust me yet? What did I do? I promise I won't hurt you or anyone else. You used to be able to see, look in the mirror and see me. Now you see the snake that attacked you. That's not me. You were fighting for your life for so long you forgot what I look like. I remember I was sitting on the edge of a rock that hung over the lake. I was so confused. The rock felt like it was going to break into the lake. The waves were crashing below me. I could feel the vibrations of them smacking against the land. I didn't trust that the rock would hold me. I felt like I was falling again. Peyton, why don't you trust me? You don't need to be scared to jump. I will hold you, and then I will let you run free. You won't have to be alone anymore. You can go back to the others. My body was confused because my mind is so loud. I had to let go of the idea that I was the one holding the rock up. That me, me worrying about it was the only way I wouldn't fall into the lake. As I write this, I see a stone my grandpa gave me for my first communion. It says, find the good. It's all around you. My dad wrote me a note that told me, Peyton, Grandpa loved you very much. My hope, My hope for you is that you can take pieces of what he said, how he lived, 
and what he wrote about as part of you. He was so proud of you and you were such a great grandson of his. Love, Dad. I thought of my grandpa and wanted to feel his presence again. I remembered a speech I heard him give and played it out, out loud in my room. There was a part of me, there was a part that stuck out to me. A moment, I, a moment my listening switched. I was pulled in deeper to what he was saying. For myself, I couldn't have planned a, a better life. And through it all, I know the hand of God is with it. And uh, this is evidence, to the, I think, throughout my, uh, with my wife and the children that we came forth with. And uh, I have these five of the seven children here today. So let's recognize. <laughs> So in this great life that God has put me through and given me, uh, I, uh, I always recognize my life with Shirley and the children he's given us, my parents, my agricultural background, and my vocational choice in that matter. While I was teaching, my now deceased wife gave me a plaque with a description from Pope John the 23rd. And it said, see everything, overlook a great deal, improve a little. <laughs> see everything, overlook a great deal, and improve a, and improve a little. So may God bless all of you. See everything, overlook a great deal, and improve a little. No words have ever made a bigger impact on my life than those. You're stuck. Let me carry you down. The attack is over. You can breathe again. There's no need to be scared. But, but you have to let go. I can't reach you up there. You have to make the jump into my arms. I decided to trust in the good and let go. I jumped.
At least it happened. If it didn't happen, they'd tell you. Right. Where does that take place? There's some down by Ashland and up by Red Cliff, and there, it's around. Okay. South of Ashland a little bit. Hey, did you get that stick? Get it. <laughs> Last night I had a dream that was vivid. There are a few things I didn't understand. Who was with me in my yard? How did the fawn escape the snake? I remember a strong sense of peace that I felt before I woke up. I feel like there's a story about this fawn that I need to tell, that even if I don't understand it all, maybe writing it will help it make sense. Maybe it will take me back to the place and the peace that I felt on Madeline Island. I feel a resistance to write. What if I don't remember it? What if no one wants to hear it? For the first time in my life, I'm going to try and make sense of it. I'm going to make this for myself and hope it can connect and help connect with others too. Two shoes and a pillow productions. Ah, uh, no, no. Two shoes and a pillow and a pillow. We gotta think of a better name, maybe. Two shoes and a pillow per pictures presents. The Fawn. A short film by Peyton Reese. I was in my childhood backyard with someone I don't remember. My feet were damp from the dew covered grass. I 
felt like this for a long, long time. You've got me running in circles. I don't ever want to slow down. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Just keep going round, going round. You've got me running in circles. I can't keep both feet on the ground. Let's just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. 